McDonough tries to get free. Whitmore holds her ground. McDonough's got to get the shot off quickly. Does and misses it. Thought it missed the rim, but play on as the Falcons get the rebound. Brecky quickly up court. Seppi gets great angle to the basket on Lagas and lays it in. Pull up jumper left side is too strong. And Cabantu secures the rebound. Gonzalez left side. Nice feed in for Whitmore. Could have taken the three. Decided instead to seek out a better shot. And Maggie Whitmore was averaging 10 points a game in her last six. Gets on the board to make it 13 to 2. Bentley. Bouchard looks for the pass. Had it knocked away. Recovers. Now it's Brecky. Corner three on the way. Got it. Kari Brecky stationed in the corner. Just waiting for the basketball. Got it. And stuck it. Such as this one. Between Bentley and St. Michael's. They start to get into tiebreakers potentially. Corner three from Cabantu is good. Amanda Cabantu with her first three of the game. Caprol had nobody to go to. Eventually turns it over for Whitmore. Falcons have numbers there. Whitmore waits for Seppi to run the floor, and she gets the banker. Bentley puts it in play on the sideline. Seppi put it in play and gets it back on it. Nicely executed cut underneath. Thompson hasn't scored in the second half. Seven first half points. Here's Cabantu who drops in the free throw line jumper. Bentley by 17 with three and change to go. Largest lead was 19. Here's Whitmore, a little step back jumper off the glass for two. And Maggie Whitmore has got herself a career high 14 points. Whitmore, Brecky, and Ducharme, the others on the floor for Bentley. Brecky in the lane, nice bounce pass across it for Ducharme. And she gets it down. First two for Carly Ducharme. And the Falcons have their largest lead of the game, 71-50. So the Falcons getting the job done for double-figure scores for Bentley as they stay a game ahead of Southern New Hampshire atop the Northeast Division with the showdown against the Penmen coming on Saturday.